The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. And uh, that's the reason that I haven't made a picture in 15 years. Well, you know, Mr. Benny, from all the things you've told me, I think I'll get a wonderful story for my paper. Well, I'm glad. I could have told you a lot more, you see, but I really have to go to that big party tonight, and I don't want to be late. Well, I won't keep you any longer then, Mr. Benny. Now, if you'll just tell me how to get to your office from here, I'll pick up the pictures to go with the story. Oh, to my office? Mm -hmm. Well, now, look, when you leave here, you go straight down the street, you see, until you get to the Bank of America. Mm -hmm. Then you turn four blocks to your left. You see, until you come to the Union Bank. <laughs> then, then go about six blocks to the right, and you'll come to the Citizens National Bank. <laughs> then go back left again until you reach the first federal savings. <laughs> then keep going right straight on from there, and you'll come to the Security First National Bank. <laughs> and then just about two blocks to the left, You'll come to my office. It's on the corner of Selma and Vine. Well, if it's on the corner of Selma and Vine, wouldn't it be easier if I just went straight down Sunset Boulevard? Well, yes, if you don't care about scenery. <laughs> Thanks again for the interview, Mr. Benny. You're welcome. Oh, say, there is one thing I would like to clear up, if you don't mind. What's that? It's that rumor that's been going all over town about... You're being thrown into the swimming pool at Mervyn Leroy's party last New Year's Eve. Well, that rumor is absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. In the first place, I wasn't even at Mervyn Leroy's house last New Year's. You weren't? No, sit down. I'll tell you about it. Right. Well, what were you now, doing? last New Year's, I remember this distinctly mm -hmm. because we were doing a show, you see, that night. Mm -hmm. And it being New Year's Eve... I asked Don Wilson, after the show, to bring the whole gang into my dressing room so we could celebrate. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. What the heck do we care? What the heck do we care? Hail, hail, the gang's all here. What the heck do we care now? Hey, wait, not my ear. Where's Jack? I want to wish him a happy new year. Oh, he's in the other room changing clothes. <laughs> hey, Jack, hurry up. Everybody's here. Bagby, Remley, Sammy, everybody. I'll be right with you, fellas. Well, while we're waiting, let's get started. How about a beer? Hey, hey Sammy, one hey. beer. One beer. Coming up. <laughs> Fellas, where's Dennis? I don't know. Hey, Dennis, what's holding you up? I'll be with you soon. I change my clothes. Well, change later. Hey, fellas, wasn't Dennis just great in our New Year's Eve sketch tonight? Oh, wow. Yeah, he sure fit the plot. <laughs> well, Happy New Year, Dennis. Yeah, yeah, Happy New Year. It's the last time I'll ever wear a costume like this. Why, you were great. You fooled everybody. That's the trouble. When I was walking down the hall, a woman picked me up and burped me. <laughs> hey, I'm freezing. I'm going to go get some clothes on. Thank you, Staffy, Dennis. We're going to leave for my house in just a couple of minutes. Don, it sure is nice of you and Lois to have us over to your house for New Year's Eve. Well, this is the time of the year we should all be together. And besides, Lois loves to do it. Yeah, we have such a ball at your house, Donzie. <laughs> you remember the year you had the swimming pool filled with gin? <laughs> Sagsby stuck a toothpick in his mouth and dived for olives. <laughs> hey, Jack, what's keeping you? We're waiting. He's coming, fellas. Now, let's all sing to him, huh? For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hi, Jack. Jack, for heaven's sakes, you didn't have to dress up like that just to come to my party. Oh, Don, I thought I told you. I'm not going to your party. 
You're not. No. You kids will just have to get along without little Jackie. I've got a date, and I'm going to pick her up in about a half an hour. Well, so that's why you're all dressed up, huh? Look kind of classy, don't I? Classy? You look like the head pot man in a mortuary flower shop. <laughs> Flower shop, flower shop. Hey, Sammy, watch it. Remember when he made a crack like that last time, what he did to you? Yeah, yeah, roots yeah. and all. <laughs> well, as long as I'm not going to be with you fellas later... Oh, Jack, think... look. Yeah. Why don't you bring your girl over to my house? Are you kidding? Not this girl. Not Gloria. Gloria? Hey, she must be a new one, isn't she? That's right. When did you meet her? Oh, a couple of months ago. Is she a blonde or a brunette? Ah, 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 ah. No more questions. I know you're all curious, but uh, I'm not talking. <laughs> okay, fellas, I'm all ready. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Benny, can I ride with you? Dennis, Jack isn't going to be with us tonight. He isn't? Of course not. Can't you see the way I'm dressed? Oh, yeah. Don't tell me who it was. I want to have a good time tonight. <laughs> it's not that. The reason I'm dressed like this, I'm going out with a very special girl. And, fellas, as long as we're not going to be together later on, I'd like to drink a toast with you. Oh, hey, well, well, that's that's true. Right, huh? <laughs> you can share with us. Okay. Not see you, Dante. <laughs> Hey, fellas, what's with Ramley? Why is he drinking all that water? He's got a long night ahead of him. He wants to get those chasers out of the way. <laughs> well, I knew he'd have a good reason. Hey, Ramley, come over here. Come here, we're gonna have, we're gonna drink a toast. Here, have mine. No, I'll take mine. <laughs> well, fellas, we are soon coming to the close of another year. And all of us being here together like this, it brings a warm glow to my heart. And I'd like to take this moment to express to you, my associates, my sincere appreciation for your loyalty, your talent, and your help. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Last year, our rating was down, and he sued us. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> now, I want to wish you all good luck, good health, and a very happy new year. Happy, happy new year, year Mr. Happy, happy new year. Happy new year. Look, Jack, why don't you change your mind and bring your girl over to my house? Don, I can't do that. We've got everything all planned. Now, the first thing, Gloria and I, we're going to have cocktails at a little place on the beach. See? Then we're going to have dinner at the Yacht Club. And then we're going to dance in the New Year in the Emerald Room. I hope you fellas have as much fun as I do. <laughs> well, Mr. Benny, there's a call for you. It's a young lady. Oh, that must be Gloria. I'll be right back, boys. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty rotten of Jack not to be with us on New Year's Eve. Look, fellas, Jack Benny's a big star. And if he's got something else he wants to do, that's his privilege. I'm just as glad he isn't going to be there, because I always have to wake him up at midnight and wish him a happy New Year. <laughs> hey, Dennis, while we're waiting, how about a song? All right. Hey, Charlie, give me an introduction, will you? Oh. An Irishman will steal your heart away. He'll be devil you and beguile you with his hullabaloo belay. When the brogue turns on the brogue, your heart will go astray. Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. An Englishman has manners. An Englishman has charm. They say it's truly difficult to raffle his plan. He'll hold you and he'll kiss you, but wherever he may be, at four o'clock he'll have to stop. To sip a cup of tea. <laughs> but an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. 
you be devil you and be guys you with this hullabaloo belay when the rope turns on the rope your heart will go astray oh an irishman an irishman will steal your heart away a uh, frenchman is romantic the french have savoir faire when he makes love to you, it's always très très debonair. <laughs> He'll say to you, toujours l'amour, my life on you depends. But next day he'll be making love to three of your best friends. <laughs> but an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. He'll be devil you and beguile you with his hullabaloo belay. When the rogue turns on the rogue, your heart will go astray. Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. The German man is steady. Ach, du lieber Kind, the German man is smart. Oh, he'll come around and around again to win the Fraulein's heart. But you can lose him easily and make him hide his face. When he comes around to see you, tell him, this is not the blade. But an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. If he devil you and beguile you with his hullabaloo ballet. When the rope turns on the rope, your heart will go astray. Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. <laughs> How about some more music? Okay, uh, Don, why don't we practice a song we're going to do at your house tonight? You know, the one where you play the tuba. Don, you play the tuba? Well, I kind of wanted to surprise my wife. I've been practicing all week. <laughs> Come on, Dante, let's hear you do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we made it. <laughs> all right, Dan. Okay. Think of saving $10, $20, 30 or more on car insurance. That's great, but next time, really do it. Really blow it. <laughs> All right, from the top again then, huh? Think of saving $10, $20, 30 or more on car insurance. For careful drivers, think state farm insurance. Hello? Gloria? Well, I'm all ready and raring to go. Look, I'll pick you up in about a... What? You... You can't go? But, Gloria, I made reservations and everything. I'm all dressed up. I look like a doll. <laughs> But, Gloria, it's New Year's Eve. You've got to go. Well, is, isn't there some way you can make it? You can't, eh? Well, I guess if you can't, you can't, that's all. Yeah. Well, goodbye. Happy New Year. But what are you staring at? <laughs> Gloria had a good excuse. And she's nuts about me, too. <laughs> well, she is. <laughs> We're on our way, Jack. Bye, Jack. Come on, Jack. Hey, Happy New Year. hey fellas, about tonight. Look, 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 Jack, you don't have to apologize to us. We understand. You're a big star, and you can go out wherever you want. Uh, but, fellas, have a good time, Mr. Benny. Go Happy on, New Year. Happy New Year, Jack. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.
sister. Happy New Year. You and the monkey so I shall look where you're going. I'm sorry. Well, watch it, bub. Looks like him, but it can't be. A big star like that wouldn't be alone on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Maybe we can find a bar around the corner. I hope so. I gotta get some more scotch. Harry, you were drinking bourbon. I was drinking scotch. <laughs> Harry, you were drinking bourbon. Now, oh, look, when I say I was drinking scotch, I was drinking scotch. And I was telling you, you're drinking bourbon. <laughs> I'll show you. Hey, mister, would you settle an argument? Uh, Tell me, was I drinking bourbon or scotch? <sighs> <laughs> Tell me, what was I drinking, bourbon or scotch? Look, look, fella. I'll give you one more hint. Look, look, mister. <laughs> hey, take your friend away from here, will you, please? I mean, this fallout is taking the polish off of my shoes. <laughs> Come on, Harry. No offense, Bob. Happy New Year. night. Might as well get a cab and go home, I guess. Oh, it's kind of chilly. I'll get a bowl of soup. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Like a nice table by the window? No, thank you. I'll sit over at the counter. Oh, please sit by the window. It'll help my business if everybody see how nice my customer is dressed. Well, I'm just having a bowl of soup, so I'll sit at the counter there. Okay. Sit by the counter. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, sir. We have a nice $2 special dinner tonight. Steak, mashed potatoes, string beans, and for dessert, nice apple pie a la mode. No, no, thank you. If you sit by the window, I give it to you free. No, 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 thank you. What'll it be? I'll have a bowl of soup. You want a sandwich and some toast with it? No, no, thank you, just soup. You want some crackers with it? No, no, just soup. Yes, oh, okay. Soup. Thank you. Gee, I'm sorry about tonight. That's all right, Gloria. <laughs> Forget it. But I'm Jack. Rosie promised she'd work for me tonight. Rosie, Rosie, all the time it's Rosie. You could have let me know before the last minute. I'm sorry. I don't want any soup anyway. Going home. I'll be off at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? Well, isn't that just dandy? I'll give your phone number to my milkman. <laughs> Oh! Hello, Rod. 
about, Chester? How come you're home so early? I thought you were going out and celebrate tonight. I was, but things didn't work out. I, uh... Hey, what are you doing here so late? I thought you were going out tonight. Oh, I am. I am. Well, you... It's almost midnight. You better hurry. Boss, on Central Avenue, Father Time lingers till we get rolling. Really? Sometimes we roll right into February. Well, you better get going, Rochester. Go ahead. Have a lot of fun tonight. But what are you going to do, Mr. Benny? Oh, I'll just sit here by the fireplace and read a book. And go to bed. I'm always tickled to death to get to bed anyway. Go ahead, Rochester. Boss. Huh? If you're going to stay home, I'm going to stay home with you. Look, I'm not going to spoil your evening. Now, you go ahead and have a lot of fun. Now, go ahead. No, I'm going to stay right here with you, and we're going to greet the new year together. Well, if you want to, we... Oh, now, now, wait a minute. That's ridiculous. Now, go ahead, Rochester. Please go. No, no, I'm going to stay here with you. Well, well, if you insist... I'll go get a can of beer out of the icebox, and we'll drink to the New Year. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, if you're willing to stay here on New Year's Eve and be here with me and miss your party, we're not going to open a can of beer. We're going to open a bottle of champagne. We're going to witch a what? <laughs> a bottle of champagne. Now, there's a cold bottle in the refrigerator. Go ahead and get it. Huh? Okay. Hurry up. Look at all those people out there. Hey, it's midnight. Rochester, hurry! Right on time. Here's the champagne. Mm. Well, open it. What's what's taking you so long? We've never opened one before. <laughs> There you are, boss. Now yours, Rochester. What? Oh, boss. Yeah. I was going to take these to the party. Well, we'll wear them here. <laughs> <laughs> Roll, little party. Pour yourself a drink. Right. <laughs> Happy New Year, Rochester. Happy New Year. Well, it certainly is an interesting story. <laughs> well, I've got to run along now, really. I mustn't be late to this party because everybody who is anybody in Hollywood is going to be there. Well, Mr. Benny, you don't mind if I just stay here and fill in my notes, do you? No, no, no. Thanks. Anything you want, just, uh, just ask Rochester. Thank you. Okay. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Rochester, is Mr. Benny going to play his violin at the party? Certainly. That's what they hired him for. <laughs> Good night, folks. You'll see Mr. Benny next week for Lipton Tea.
Remember one week from tonight on this same station. Be sure and watch Ann Southern in Private Secretary. The Jack Benny program has been brought to you by the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes.